Still the coronavirus pandemic, the Federal Ministry of Education has ordered the immediate closure of tertiary institutions, secondary and primary schools nationwide. The permanent secretary of the Ministry of Education, Sonny Echono, gave the order on behalf of the Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu. Well, Mr. Echono noted that all 104 unity schools of the country should close on March the 26th as a proactive step aimed at preventing the spread of the dreaded coronavirus. The minister asked all principals of the Unity Colleges to fast track the ongoing second term examinations and close shop until further notice. Meanwhile, the River State Government has joined other states in ordering the closure of private and public schools in the state. This precautionary measure is aimed at preventing the spread of the disease. Meanwhile, pupils and students will at the moment take home assignments to keep them busy while they're away from school. TVC News Abimbola Gwibiyo reports that teachers of public and private schools in Lagos have also been directed by the state government to keep them mentally fit while at home. Since the discovery of the first index case of coronavirus in Nigeria, there have been lots of public enlightenment now. The battle against the virus gets tougher. Schools in Lagos are expected to shut down academic activities from Monday, the 23rd of March, a directive issued by the governor of Lagos, Babajide Solu. At most of the schools visited, pupils and students are in the middle of their second term examinations, which will now be interrupted. Hours after the governor of Lagos, Babajide Solu, announced the closure of all public and private schools in the state to prevent the spread of the pandemic, students and teachers of this private school appear set for the sudden break in their academic activities, which they have described as very timely. I know some of our parents will be expecting it because it happened during the Ebola. And then, well, even some of them have been asking if the students will stay at home. But we think we'll be able to manage until the end of the term. But we're right, we are here, we have to move on because the government said we should shut. Right now we are having our exams and then the exams have to be stopped. But what we have done is that the, we had to review the timetable. We are going to print and give copies to our students, then give them a newsletter. Then immediately we are asked to come back, the exam starts all over. We will continue with the exams. Before now, there's been a lot of awareness on, behalf, on, uh, on the side of the, of the school trying to create awareness about the, the coronavirus. And one of the major things we have taught them is to wash their hands as often as possible. And the school has made available junctions where students, wherever they are, they can wash their hands at interval with water, running water, and soap. With the interruption in the academic calendar comes a note of caution to parents to keep their words safe. We have a very critical situation at hand and uh, academic activities must continue uh, one way or another. Uh, that is why we are imploring the parents to pay more attention to their awards. Uh, we have directed the school authorities to give more homework and assignment during this period so that the parent can, you know, engage uh, their, their awards, uh, be with them, assist them with assignment and the homework so that, you know, this uh, period we will be able to engage them more. While it is not clear about resumption, residents of the state are urged to take all precautionary measures serious and stay safe. Abimbola Agbibi, Chiefs News, Lagos.